In response to my earlier video talking about how the chemical imbalance theory of depression does not hold up in the science, a number of people have made a comment to the effect of either, how do I help with my depression, or then why did medication work for me? And I want to talk about an important clarification here. Just because our theory of chemical imbalance does not hold up, in particular about sort of reduced serotonin leading to depression, it does not follow that medications might not still be helpful. What it means is instead that there is much more nuance in this concept of depression than merely a chemical imbalance. And as one example, for the SSRIs, these selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors that in theory should increase serotonin levels, we find one, Decreasing someone's serotonin does not lead them to become depressed if we do that chemically. And two, in many cases, people who take these SSRIs for long periods of time actually have reduced serotonin levels on average compared to those not taking the medications. So the medications are still likely doing something, but what they're doing and how they help with our depression is the part that we clearly do not fully appreciate and understand. So it's also why medications might help one person and not another, or might help one person in a given period of time, but not help them again the next time, and so on. That something like depression or anxiety is much more complex and specific than merely a chemical imbalance. And that's all. I'm happy to talk more about these specifics further, but you know, it's TikTok and I don't want to go on for five, 10 minutes at a time and we could talk about this all day. Thanks, and as always, please throw me a like and a follow if you want more of this content.